Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be doing a three-part sleek ponytail. A simple little easy hairstyle that I wanted to try out. I've seen this on TikTok, so I thought it was a cute little something to add to a normal ponytail. So starting off, I, I'm just taking my hair out of these little braids that I have when I wash my hair. And then before I get more into the video, I see that my hair or my like hairline and my makeup was not looking right. I had a scarf on when I was doing my makeup so I didn't even like lift it or move the scarf or take the scarf off while doing my makeup so it's just a line right there just ignore that right now I didn't even notice it until like right now editing the video I didn't notice that it was looking crazy so just ignore that but anyways I'm using this Maui moisture curl uh, milk I'm using that on the front and the back of my hair with some water just because my hair was in those braids it was a little bit dry so I'm just adding more moisture back into my hair so now i'm using my comb and i'm just making like a side part like two side parts on each side of my head like how you normally would if you're wearing a side part for a bun or just wearing a side part with the rest of your hair down um, i'm trying to make it as clean as i can i even had to move the mirror like right in front of my face because i could not see like what the mirror where it was at but um this side was a little bit more it was harder to do this side for some reason and eventually i had to go back in and fix it but for now, I'm going to focus on the rest of my hair. I'm using some more water and I'm using some more of the curl cream and I'm just like detangling the hair that's left out. This is obviously important because I don't want to have any bumps in my hair. This is something I always kind of had trouble with when I do a low bun. I always seem to have like a bump at the base of the ponytail or somewhere along the way I have a bump in the ponytail. Made sure my hair was fully detangled before I put it into the ponytail. So once I'm done detangling my hair, I'm gonna put it into a loose low bun or loose low ponytail. And I'm gonna use my Eco Styler gel. I wish I had used more of like a pomade um, something because this gel, it works, but it just makes my hair wavy and I want it more of like a sleeker look and not wavy, you know? This is the part here where I had to fix the part because I like it was obviously too much hair or not enough hair pulled out on that side. Like I could tell a big difference when I was doing the other side, you know? So now it was a lot better and more even. So now I'm using my brush and I'm just brushing my hair back, um, making sure I don't have any bumps, making sure that it's fully like sleek and it's fully like flat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it into a tight ponytail. And from there, I had sectioned off the hair or this part of the hair just so that I would make sure I was doing it right, you know? I just wanted to make sure that you could see the parts on both sides of the section, if that makes sense. So I actually went in and I used some Edge Booster, like the pomade. Like I said, I didn't really like how the Eco Styler Gel worked with my hair, so I'm going in and I'm using some of the Edge Booster pomade. And this one does happen to leave like a, it leaves like a white residue on the hair when you're like done. Like maybe a couple days later, it'll still have like a white residue, but I didn't plan on keeping this in for long, so I went ahead and used it anyway. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and braid that hair. I'm going to turn it into a braided ponytail. And then for the middle section there, I went ahead and sectioned it off into two sections just because I wanted to make sure I didn't have a bump or any problems i wanted it to be as smooth as possible so i took that section smoothed it down and brushed it down and i'm taking that part and i'm smoothing it down as well and i'm only at this point i'm only using the pomade stuff because i wanted to make sure it wouldn't leave my hair wavy which this stuff it did but i kind of went back in with a comb and i kind of smoothed it over a little bit i still had a little bit of waves on my hair but it was fine And then for that little section that I had to pull back, I'm going to go ahead and braid that. If you want to, you can put it in with the other ponytail, but I just didn't want to mess anything up or take anything down. So I just made another braid and then I'm taking like the comb part of my edge brush and I'm just kind of slicking the hair back a little bit more um, and getting any flyaways put down, you know, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my baby hairs. I didn't do too much with this. I just 
did some on the side and I did a little swoop in the middle. Now for the ponytail, this ponytail I got like a couple years ago, so I don't really remember where I got it from, but it's like a drawstring, or not drawstring, but it's like a Velcro um, ponytail. Like the, you wrap it around and it has like the Velcro, and then you wrap that extra piece of hair around uh, the base of the ponytail. So I'm just putting that on. You can put, or you can use your own hair. You can use or make it into a bun. You can do whatever you want, but I'm using this um, ponytail. This ponytail also, my hair is dark brown, but it looks black when it's like wet and like slicked down like this. Like right now it looks black, but my hair is actually dark brown. So it does match the ponytail, but it just doesn't look like it when it's like slick, you know? But I'm kind of playing around with the ponytail and the curls on the ponytail and trying to make it look how I want it to. Here you can probably see it, but the ponytail, it is secure, but the like piece that you wrap around it, it kept unraveling. I don't know if it's because it was a straight piece of hair, but it kept unraveling. But the ponytail itself is secure. It just doesn't look like it because that piece is kind of loose. But other than that, this is the hairstyle and how it turned out. Hope you guys liked the video and everything I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!